Hello everyone, so today we're going to talk about uh, React Media and how to recreate its functionality with React Hooks. Um, in case you don't know, React Media is a React component that lets you use media query inside your React code. Um, so just like that. So if uh, we bring uh, React Media to our code sandbox, go like that. So we import from React Media. Then we probably get it as a default import. So if we wrap our content in a media component, we we use query and then we send a media query to it. So min with let's say 600 pixels and then as a render prop we get function gives us matches then if it matches we say return matches then we render hello otherwise we render world and now if we open and close we see that it changes so it's pretty simple and you can get it uh, for free um, importing react media to your project but as um, as we now have uh, react hooks so I thought I share with you how how to create the uh, um, a hook that uses the same functionality that React Media has. So, okay. Let's actually create our own hook here. So, we create a file and we call it use media query.js. Um, let's actually write um, a hook so it's a function use media query okay and then we're exporting export default use media query cool so now same functionality that, that we have here, we can get rid of uh, React Media and import use media query from use React Media and then cons matches use media query and then we send the exact same thing here. And then we say if it matches yeah, exactly so if it matches then render that otherwise render that cool so in the component we are ready to go and now we're gonna implement or or use media query hook and for that we're gonna use uh, window match media and this is a method that lets you see if a certain query matches your viewport so we're gonna exactly use that um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do cons 
media use that with max width we're gonna get the query from the parameters and then we have the media cool so now um, we need to <coughs> actually listen for changes in the viewport so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an effect so import we're gonna import it from react use effect from react and now use effect function then every we want to listen to every time the query changes we want to execute that so um, actually let's put this inside because we want to see every time if it matches or not so uh, we're gonna s get that in a state piece so let's use use state from react as well and then this by default is going to be um, the value that matches so by default we are going to default Default matches equals that. Oops. Type matches default matches. Cool. And now from here we're gonna get matches set matches. Cool. So every time it changes as I said we we're gonna listen to uh, the media so media dot at listener can we from here media query list so matches and methods at listener and move listen let's look in if we can instead of using at listener we can do at event listener but no that's actually from so add listener um, and then the listener so the function that we're gonna execute every time that uh, that changes it's gonna be const listener equals and then every time it changes we're gonna set matches to uh, media Top matches which is a value that it gives us so in in here in the middle uh, first we're gonna send that to there and then we're gonna clean up every time the component amounts so every time the component amounts we need to do media dot remove listener listener cool um, and then if that media doesn't match uh, the current matches in the state then we need to uh, set the matches to the current matches so if media don't matches it's not the same as matches then set matches to media dot matches. <coughs> and now we're getting here a message saying matches needs to be on the array dependency, so matches, which is a piece of text we're using inside. If that makes sense. Um, and I think that is it. If we save, 
uh, we should be able to see that moving no okay just going to save this uh -huh. okay see what's wrong hmm. oops put that first and with that the listener <coughs> set matches media matches listener ah <laughs> Clearly, we need to return matches because otherwise we don't see it in in the other side. So, Talbot, hello, both, hello, both. So, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Just using the built-in browser uh, functions, we can recreate uh, what React Media does. Uh, so, that's it for today. See you next time.